Hello Leo Cancer friends and welcome back to the Immaterial Garden. This is your weekly reading. Uh, thank you for the likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. Always wonderful to step into your energy and to feel your presence here on the channel. All right, everything else you really need to know about the session is listed down below in the description box. Make sure you hit that show more button uh, and that will include who this will resonate beyond those that are born on the cusp, as well as astrological energies for today and for the month, as well as the decks that we're using, okay? Let's go ahead and get right into this reading. Uh, and the way this reading is going to work, we are going to ask the question, uh, what the heck is wrong with this person that you're dealing with, okay? And if you're not dealing with another person, then maybe this just isn't your week. And please check again, you know, check your ascendant video uh, later on this week, Ch you know, check back next week. But if you're, and also maybe it could be like, what the heck is wrong with you? But we're going to, we're going to ask, what the heck is wrong with this person? How might this reflect on your own shadow energy? And what can you possibly do about it? Okay, let's go ahead and see here. What's the overall energy for Cancerian Leo? Uh, what the heck is wrong with them, Cancer Leo? Ooh, we have bride in a cage. Ooh, that sounds kind of... So, Cancerian... I. I uh... Cancer and Leo, I kind of feel like this is related to the Cancer reading that I did, but I do feel like here with Bride in a Cage, I feel like someone has made commitments or they've overcommitted themselves, and I feel like they, all of the, the people that they owe something to are coming back at the same time. Okay, so bride in a cage, I kind of feel like this person feels trapped in their situation. They feel trapped in their relationships. And I don't feel like it's one singular thing or relationship or whatever it is. I feel like they just genuinely feel trapped in, and stuck in place in their own life during a time that they don't really want to want to be present there. Okay, all right. Uh, this might be affecting this person's mood. It affects their behavior. It definitely puts them in a more, uh, definitely in a more shadowy energy and an energy where they might be a bit more, uh, they might be really salty with you. They might be rude to you. They might even try to take out some of their aggression or take out some of their frustrations on you. This could be someone at work or this could be a uh, romantic. This could be a friend, whatever your relationship is to this person, they kind of resent the fact that they feel stuck, but you seem to be on the up and up. I feel like you're on the rise. I feel like you are uncontained. And if you are, even if you're going through exactly the same situation or exactly the same challenges, this person doesn't like the way you are able to kind of meet adversity and to find a way to find a way to make something happen or to, I don't know, just uh, make the best of it. This person, I, I feel like... Uh, I feel like they maybe they feel stuck in their own in their own perception right now. Let's put it that way, okay? All right, let's go ahead and see uh, what is the uh, what are the messages Cancer and Leo related to this person? This person that feels very resentful that they have committed themselves to something that they don't want to be attached to anymore, okay? All right, uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. Oh Lord, okay. So here we have despair, all right? So despair in the Sibylla Oracle, this is basically, uh, it can be about jealousy. So it does feel like this person, maybe maybe this person, it's like they, they already have something, they're already committed to something, but they want what you have, okay? They see what you have and then they look at what they have and they go, why does Cancerian Leo get better than I get? That's kind of the, that's the energy that I get from this, okay? Whether this is someone who feels like you get too much attention uh, at work, too much attention from, you know, uh, a partner, too much, whatever it is, it's like, I get nine inch nails, why do, why do you get all the love in the world, okay? Here we have money energy. So it looks like here, yeah, I feel like there, things are solid for you. I feel like you are uh, making progress in terms of your ambition. I feel like you are working on, you know, building your confidence, you're manifesting, you have, uh, you've cultivated abundance, there's wealth 
that's surrounding you and if the wealth you know if it hasn't accumulated or amassed to the point where you have a nice nest egg yet that's the energy that's that's where you're going but i feel like this person they're jealous of of your abundance they're jealous of what you have but at the same time it's like you worked for everything that you have, okay? Maybe that's the other thing this person is kind of envious of, because I feel like this person, even if they have like money, even if they have power, influence, whatever, it's like they had to get it by committing themselves, making like, I feel like it's like making the deal with the devil, okay? You, on the other hand, you, you have, you, there's a certain level of independence or autonomy that you maintain. You're not starting from a debt to have these things. So that's the difference okay uh oh here we have we have foe okay so yeah this person they they have a lot of hard feelings they they're not very satisfied in their own life right now and because of these pressures it's making them maybe hostile towards you or maybe you know if it's not right outright hostile this person may actually find themselves wishing you ill and and they might even I, total full transparency this person they actually might even feel really guilty about it okay this might be someone who maybe they don't want to hate you maybe they don't even want to be a hater but it's like they just cannot they cannot okay <laughs> they cannot help themselves because they are so unhappy you are happy you are they're unhappy you're happy okay by by nature it's almost like or just by the dynamic okay it's like envy is already built into that system all right. Here we have prison. OK, yeah, I'm telling you, this person, they feel trapped. They feel trapped by their decisions. They feel trapped by their commitments. They might. This could be someone who maybe this person gives you a hard time. You know, if, if it's at work, for instance, it's like they give you a hard time. They try to make you jump through hoops because really it's like they feel powerless in their own life. So they have to find a way somewhere in their life to exert that power, to exert that frustration. OK. All right, here we also have, you know, hope in freaking reverse, okay? So this person is, I mean, I, I, I almost feel bad. I mean, this person, they are, they are, they are depleted. They are feeling miserable. They might be going through a really low point in their life. They might be going through dark night of the soul, or they might be going through some sort of existential or midlife crisis, all right? All right, more messages, please. More messages for this person that Leo can Cancer is dealing with. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. I think that's that's enough. Hold on. Yeah, look at this. Okay. So, first of all, you know, this person is a this person is a servant. This person is a servant to their own discontent, okay? This person is a servant to their own shadow energy and uh they feel like whatever it is, servant makes and prison makes me think and no hope in between makes me think about trapped in servitude or trapped in commitment, okay? Here we also have, uh, we have the thief card energy. So yeah, I mean, this person, they covet what you have. They covet what you have because they don't, they don't understand this. That's what I don't like about this. I mean, this almost feels very human and it feels just very like, I mean, can we really like, can we really fault them that much? But what it, what it boils down to is there's an arrogance here because this person does not feel like you actually, like you deserve the good things that have happened to you. It's not just that it's not happening to them. That's the thing. Even if it was happening to them, they would still be looking at you like you, you aren't shit and there's no reason for you to be happy in this life, okay? I, I don't know. I mean, that, but, but I feel like it's not necessarily because it's personal. It's because they're taking all of their frustration and their shadow energy and they're projecting it right the fuck onto you because they, it, as a survival mechanism, okay? I feel like, to be honest, if, if you weren't here for this person to hate on, this person may actually, they might not have anything else to really keep going for keep living for okay it's kind of like um it reminds me of like uh someone in a in a story or a movie where it's like uh the only thing keeping them alive is is their hostility or their hatred or their you know whatever it is you know but in in that way it's like um 
it's not really a great life, but at the same time, it sustains them until maybe they can get into the energy shift or they can, you know, have a breakthrough. Okay. Here we have child energy. And in this case, I feel like they're, they're, you know, the child can represent what you have created, what you have manifested. This person wants to slip in and take it away from you or take it from you, or that's, they fantasize about you, them being the one with it and you being out in the cold. All right. Jeez. Here we have enemy. <laughs> we have both enemy and foe that came out. So yeah, I, I mean, usually, you know, I don't harp on like people wishing you peep others ill will and that sort of thing. But I just think you got to be real careful about this because here we have the priest card as well. They are committed to this. They are committed to trying to mess with you, trying to make your life difficult just so that they can get a little thrill or feel more a little more alive inside because you know the, the feeling of powerlessness hopelessness possibly uh, in their own personal life all right the the lack of access to value or what they value or what they really what they really care about okay they don't seem to have access to it Whew. All right, here, this is priest card energy. So priest, that can be, uh, in, in the Sibylla Oracle, that's equivalent to the King of Swords energy, which is mostly Aquarius energy with a minor resonance in Capricorn. Uh, we have seen, I mean, I think everyone across the board is seeing a lot of King of Swords energy during this time. Uh, so people, you know, they are really in their head. People, most of the time, people are not going to mess with you if you don't come for them. But there are these people, especially, I, I feel like this fixed energy, especially more likely if people have fixed energy in their chart, such as Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Now's the time if they, you know, <laughs> if they were ever going to act out you know, act on their grudge or hold on to a grudge, now's the time, okay? We have reunion card energy. I feel like reunion, it's like, they need to maybe like get back in touch with their with their higher self, get back in touch with their own, uh, with, with finding a path of salvation, you know, that doesn't involve hating on you for no reason. <laughs> or coveting what you have or actively working to kind of undermine you all right let's go ahead and take a look here what is the uh let's, let's get one more card here i'll pull it off the top we have merchant energy so with the merchant this is uh king of pentacles energy in the sibylla so this this is taurus energy with a minor resonance in the sign of aries okay so ultimately here with the merchant though yeah i feel like um this person with bride in a cage and merchant, the merchant looking at the bride in the cage, this person made a deal that they really regret making a commitment. They got in bed with something or someone, they really regret doing that. And for some reason, it's like all they can do in the situation to make them feel, make themselves feel better is to, is to somehow make it, you know, your fault that they can't get what they want, that they can't get no satisfaction, okay? Let's go ahead and see here, what is the, um, <laughs> What's the potential outcome here between, uh, for you and this person or we have, uh, waiting. We also have room. Okay. So I feel like this person, it's like, they feel like, uh, they're just like, they, they keep looking over, look at how the waiting it's like, they're looking over at over here at you. They're looking over at your wealth. They're looking over at the good things happening to you. And it's like, uh, it, it really puts them deep in their feelings with room card energy, all right? They feel like they are locked. <laughs> That's kind of sad, but they feel like they're, they see you living your best life, basically. They feel like they're locked away alone in a room waiting for something that will probably never come to them, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have uh, overall guidance. We have wedding card energy. So... I do feel like for some of you, wedding card, bride in a cage, I mean, enough said, all right? Thank you so much, friends. Please join me again. Gratitude to the divine, to you, and all of creation.